Sunshine fam. Welcome to another Presidential Highlights video, which I haven't done since last year. Uh, the last one was JFK, and I did that when I was still down in Amarillo. And obviously, I'm not down there anymore, so I am back in the frozen tundra, and today I can say I'm in Minnesota because it is snowing outside. So today, we are talking about a, our 36th president, which is Lyndon B. Johnson. Here is a picture of him. So obviously much more modernized. Uh, I do have my timer going, so we're just going to jump right into this since I've already wasted about 30 seconds. Okay, so Lyndon Johnson served from 1963 to 1969, and his vice president was Hubert Humphrey, who came from Minnesota. 1963, if you remember, November 22nd, Lyndon B Baines Johnson was inaugurated. He was sworn in as our 36th president following Kennedy's assassination. And from what I understand, he was sworn in on an airplane on his way back from Dallas to Washington, D.C. with um, Kennedy's wife standing alongside of him. November 27th, Johnson addresses Congress. It was a joint session of the Congress calling on legislators to fulfill Kennedy's legacy. Uh, it was to pass the civil rights and tax legislation. November 29th, the commission to invest Kennedy's assassination was created and it was chaired by Chief Justice Earl Warren. Now we jump to 1964. January 23rd, the 24th Amendment was ratified. It abolishes all, uh, it, it abolishes the poll taxes. February 7th, the Beatles arrived in New, York, in New York City. It was their first U.S. tour, and that was called the British Invasion. Nothing bad about it. Uh, March 24th, Jack Ruby was convicted of murder. Now, if you remember, Jack Ruby is the one that killed Lee Harvey Oswald, and, Lee Harvey o and he was sentenced to death, and Oswald was thought to be Kennedy's assassination, or assassin. May 22nd, Johnson's, Johnson's Great Society. He was speaking at the Uni University of Michigan, and he announces the intention by extending American prosperity to all citizens. July 2nd, the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It outlaws discrimination based on race or color, sex, religion, or national origin. It also discriminates against voter registration and segregation in schools, work, and public assemblies. July 15th, Republicans nominate Barry Goldwater. He was the senator from Arizona as the, pre as the president. They nominated him for president. July 19th, Wallace drops out of the presidential race. He was the governor of Alabama, and his name was George Wallace. August 4th, the Freedom Summer Murders. In Mississippi, James Cheney, not, not related to Dick Cheney because his last name is spelled differently, Andrew Good, Goodman and Michael Schwerner were found dead in an eastern dam two months after being abducted, and they were shot at close range. The, there were several members of the KKK were in, involved, but only one was convicted 41 years later, so just rec in recent years. August 7th, the Gulf of Tonkin re Resolution. Congress passed it, giving power to the president to pursue military action in Vietnam. August 26th, Democrats nominate Johnson. And the... Uh, Senator Hubert H. Humphrey from Minnesota was nominated as his vice president. August 30th, the Economic Opportunity Act. It creates, uh, the office was created and it begins a war on poverty. September 27th, Kennedy cons conspiracy was rejected. The Warren Commission releases a report and it rejects the notion that Kennedy's assassination was a conspiracy. October 4th, I'm just a little stuffed up, it's allergies. October 14th, Martin Luther King Jr. receives the Nobel Peace Prize. October 15th, Khrushchev resigns. Nikita Khrushchev was forced to resign the USSR. Now remember, they were, they were still uh, considered the USSR. And was replaced by Leon, Leon, Leonid Brezhnev. 
I remember Brezhnev very well. I don't know how to pronounce his first name, so please forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. November 3rd, Johnson was elected. 1965, January 20th, Johnson was inaugurated. February 9th, the bombing begins in Vietnam. Nine American soldiers were killed in the attack on the U.S. barracks in Pleiku, Vietnam. Again, I don't know how to pronounce it. Johnson begins bombing North Vietnam. So I always thought this whole time that it was Nixon that was in office when we became involved in Vietnam, but obviously it was Johnson. February 21st, Malcolm X was assassinated. He was a black power activist and he was killed in New York City by the Nation of Islam. Malcolm X belonged to the organization. Tensions between Malcolm X and the NOI heated up, leading to his suspension and death of Malcolm X. March 15th, Johnson calls voting legislation. Johnson called on the Congress to make voting rights for African Americans. March 7th was considered Bloody Sunday, where 500 plus marchers tried to cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge. State troopers told them to turn around, and troopers attacked the protesters. Martin Luther King led a march from Selma to Montgomery two days later. It was the same situation, but the, but the protesters knelt in prayer before turning back. April 11th, Elementary and Secondary Education Act. Johnson signs this. April 28th, Johnson sends troops to the Dominican Republic. Protects the U.S. citizens after a military coup, and it resulted in the Dominican Civil War. June 7th. Contraceptive ban deemed unconstitutional. The U.S. Supreme Court uh, had its finding of that. July 26th, movement moves north. Martin Luther King Jr. leads the demonstration in Chicago, and he was trying to extend the civil rights movement to the north. July 28th, escalation in Vietnam. Johnson sends more troops to Vietnam and is determined to engage in a ground war. July 30th, Medicare and Medicaid was created. So that it was created not that long ago. August 1st, first, a paper by Daniel Patrick Moynihan. It was called The Negro Family, Case for National Action. And it was released and it created heated controversy due to stereotype and racial bias, um, which was the root of his argument. August 6th, the voting rights becomes law. August 11th, Watts riots in L.A. In, incited by, uh, by police and a drunk driver. 4,000 California Army National Guard, 16,000 law enforcement, and 30,000 residents were involved over six days. 34 died, 3,438 arrests, and $40 million in property damage resulted. 1966, February 21st, France withdraws from NATO. French President Charles de Gaulle says France withdraw was withdrawing from NATO. He feared a US that the U.S. involvement in Vietnam would cause World War III. Now, I've been hearing a lot about NATO. If I have time at the end, which I'm at about nine and a half minutes left before my, before my timer goes off, um, I will explain a little bit about NATO because I know we've been hearing a lot about that because of the Ukraine war going on right now. March 7th, the Supreme Court upholds Voting Right Act, and it was, it was voted unanimously. June 1st, the White House pushes Congress for legislation. The conference was held on, was about civil rights. June 6th, James Meredith was shot. Now, he was known as the first black student at the University of Mississippi, and he was shot on a solo march from Memphis to Jackson. I talked about him in my last presidential highlights video with Kennedy. Uh, 15,000 marchers completed the march while James was in the hospital recuperating, and it resulted with 4,000 black Americans registering to vote. Stokely Carmichael is, it was for, uh, had first said black power during that time. June 13th, Miranda versus Arizona. It was a constitutional provision against self-incrimination applies to interrogation of interrogations by police. And that's where the Miranda rights comes from. So when you read your Miranda's re Miranda rights, that's where that comes from. October 1st, Black Panther Party founded. Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale 
founded it in Oakland, California. 1967, now we're getting into the year I was born. January 27th, astronauts were killed in a fire. The, there was a launch pad fire and it killed three astronauts during a training and they talk about this briefly in the movie Apollo 13. February 10th, the 25th Amendment was ratified. Rules of succession upon incapacitation of the president and it allows the president to name a new VP. June 5th, the Six Day War, and it was between Israel and the Arab nations. June 13th, Thurgood Marshall nominated to the Supreme Court. And I think there's actually a business by that name. I was trying to figure out how I knew that name. Uh, he worked for the National Association for the Advertisement of, or Advancement of Colored People, otherwise known as the NAACP. In 61, Kennedy appointed him to the Second Circuit Court, but in 65, Marshall resigned to become the first black solicitor general. July 13th, riots break out in Newark, New Jersey. It, it escalated racial ten tensions by police after beating a cab driver, and it lasted five days. 26 people died and hundreds were injured. A lot of bad stuff happened in, in Johnson's time. July 23rd, the 12th Street Riot in Detroit. Police raid an unlicensed bar, which caused racial tensions. That one also lasted five days. The Michigan National Guard and two airborne divisions were called in. 7,200 arrests were made, 43 people died, and 1,189 were injured. October 21st, an anti-war march to the Pentagon, and it was an attempt to shut down the Pentagon. 1968, January 23rd, North Korea captures the USS Pueblo, US, US, which is a U.S. Navy communications intelligent gathering ship. Try saying that five times fast. The crew was not released until December, and this happened in January. January 30th, Tet Offensive. On Vietnam's Lunar year, New Year, North Vietnam, Vietnam attacked the South. 80,000 plus troops and guerrillas attacked 44 provincial capitals, 64 district capitals, and five major South Vietnam cities. It failed to produce victory for the North. February 8th, George Wallace enters the race. Alabama governor enters as an independent for president. March 12th, Johnson wins the New Hampshire primary as a Democrat. Eugene McCarthy comes in close second with 42% of the votes. Oh, man, here was my time. Okay, so about five minutes. March 16th, My Lai Massacre. The U.S. forces in Vietnam kill hundreds of unarmed men, women, and children. Not a good day for the U.S. The news isn't reported until November of 1969. On that same day, Robert Kennedy enter enters the race as a Democrat for the presidency. March 31st, Johnson makes announcements. He will not seek re-election because of the, the incident in Vietnam. And he also announced that partial bombing will be halted of North Vietnam. April 4th, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee while standing on the balcony of his hotel. April 23rd, the Columbia University protests. It, uh, the school support, supported the U.S. involvement in Vietnam and proposed a segregated gym. There were 200 arrests, dozen, dozens of suspensions between April and May. April 29th, Poor People's Campaign begins. Ralph Abernathy, uh, of the South Christian Leadership Conference, otherwise known as the SCLC, begins a campaign in D.C. May 13th, Paris peace talks begin between the U.S. and Nor North Vietnam. They meet to talk about peace in Vietnam. As we all know, that didn't happen. June 5th, Robert Kennedy was assassinated in California after winning the primary. And that happened on live TV. August 20th, the Soviets may invade Czechoslovakia. Yeah, they like to invade countries, don't they? Uh, it, end, it was to end the movement toward greater freedom and independent, independence. August 25th, the Democrats nominate Humphrey in Chicago. Now remember, Humphrey was from Minnesota. November 5th, Nixon was elected. I don't know why that wasn't ever put in here that he was nominated. 
and Spiro Agnew was his vice president. November 12th, Brezhnev Doctrine. It gives the Soviet Union the right to intervene anywhere in its sphere of influence, and it becomes central to the Soviet foreign policy. So, I now have just under three minutes to go. So, the next president will be Richard Nixon, who was our 37th president. Of course, we all know a lot about what happened in his time, Watergate and Vietnam and re resignation and all that stuff, but we'll find out. I haven't written it down yet, but we'll find out what else happened during his presidency um, in the six years that he, or the one term, two terms, 69 to 74 uh, is when he served. Um, yeah, I think it was six years because he resigned and then the next president came in. So NATO is apparently a group of countries, 33 from Europe and two from North America, U.S. included, that kind of link arms in support of, like in this case, the Ukraine. And I know that I've been hearing a lot about it, but it actually was formed, and I probably have it in one of my presidential highlights, after World War II, and I believe it said 1949 is when NATO uh was first introduced or whatever. It's the National Alliance, uh, I don't know. I can look it up here. Uh, one second here. Sorry, I'm not as well prepared here. Uh, NATO means the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And the countries that are part of it, the 12 founding member countries of NATO, are Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, the United Kingdom, and the U.S. Um, however, I'm guessing this is new, this is from Wikipedia. The countries that are, there are 30 states, it says, and I guess it does list all of them. So, the membership now... It's headquartered in Brussels, Belgium. The membership now is Albania, Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, Croatia, the Czech Republic, because they broke up, uh, Denmark, Estonia, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Montenegro, the Netherlands, North Macedonia, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Turkey, the United Kingdom, and the United States. And let's see, it was founded, it was formed, okay. It was formed April 4th of 1949. So you can take that with, uh, with what we're hearing in the news nowadays with everything that's going on between Russia and the Ukraine. So at this point, I've got less than a minute to go, so I'm going to go ahead and say...